Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part nine of my WordPress theme tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to make custom taxonomies inside of WordPress. And don't get confused by that. What I mean by that is, just like you can see here on this sample website, I have a bunch of recipes. Well, if I decided that it would make more sense to actually create special tags with the label ingredients and then keep them separate from my normal tags inside of WordPress, I could actually do that. And it would help me to better categorize and group all the information on my website. And if you were looking for a tutorial on actually making themes, I provide a link to that above. But I found that this is kind of a neat little trick. And you can see over here under the post section, you can categorize your posts into certain categories as well as give them certain tags or keyword phrases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a custom new one of these guys. We're going to be able to use it inside of our posts. So how you create that is actually quite simple. I'm going to open up my text editor. And this is Text Wrangler, but you can use any free things. The only reason I use Use text wrangler is it's free and it works for me then to define this guy what you want to do is go into your functions.php file which is inside of your custom theme I'll show you how to make this guy here all in one video it's actually very easy the first thing you want to do is latch on to a hook inside of WordPress and specifically what I'm going to latch on to is the INIT and what this guy does is it will call whatever function I tell it to call whenever WordPress is initialized. That's what the INT stands for, or the INIT stands for. And this is not a special function, it's something I just made up out of nowhere. But you would like to have these all be totally different. You want these names to be different. So this is the function that's going to be called when WordPress is initialized. And then at the end, you put a priority, zero being the most important. I technically don't know if that's a good idea, but everybody else does that, even people in the WordPress community, so it must be perfect fine. So now what I need to do is I need to call a function being the create ingredient taxonomy function and it doesn't have anything sent to it. Then inside of here you need to call a very specific WordPress function. It's called register taxonomy right like that and then you have to pass along some information. First I'm going to type in ingredients and this is going to be the name used to identify all the data that is put in the WordPress database. So that's what that is. Then I'm going to define that I want to be able to define these taxonomies for all of my posts. I could also put the links or pages there. In fact, it should be post, page, or link. Those are the very specific things you would type in there if you'd like to have those instead of, of putting them on posts. And then at that point, you have to define an array. And I'm going to have this be hierarchical. And what that means, pull the browser up. Tags, if we open this up here real quick, are not hierarchical. You cannot put parents and then have these all divide. However, categories are hierarchical. As you can see here, you can define different parents whenever you define a new category. Well, I decided that I want to make or at least have the option to do that. And I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, really. Just provide you with an additional option if you ever decide you want it. And then you just put inside here, true, if you want that capability. Then you define the label, which will define the name for the taxonomy on the site and inside of the dashboard. And mine is going to be ingredients because this has recipes assigned to it and it makes sense to me. And then you type in query underscore var. And what this allows you to do is if it's marked true, it will allow you to search for posts based off of the taxonomies that you create for them. I'm going to make that true as well. And then finally, we have rewrite. And again, I, this is another thing. I don't know why it wouldn't always be true. What this will do for you is whenever you search for posts using these custom taxonomies, it will put up informative URLs. So for example, if you would search for garlic, it would put garlic in the URL. So that's also a great thing. And it's also potentially a good thing for search engines if it shows up. And there you go, you got that all set up inside of there. So if you file save it, and then we jump over inside of this guy, and then we're gonna reload this page. Now you can see just that easy ingredients is found right here. So let's say I wanna go in and start adding some new things into here. So I'll put garlic and then just keep this simple. And again, I could put all these guys into different parent areas if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna leave it this way. And we can add new category. And then let's say I wanna use jalapeno. And there, so I got jalapeno and garlic. Well, I now will go into my post area. And then this one right here, I do know, will then on the right side, give me the option of putting garlic and jalapeno. Well, there's garlic and jalapeno in both of these. So let me click on those both and we'll update that. And now we'll be able to search using those custom taxonomies. 
And just for the heck of it, let's create a tag cloud so that I can show you how this might work. So let's go into my sidebar second.php file. Come in here right after the subscription area that I have, and then we'll define a tag cloud. Now I don't have all these different things in this taxonomy, so it's not going to show 50 million different things. Like if I loaded all of the current tags in there, which would make sense. I just simply want to show you exactly what you'd have to do if you wanted to reference this information in a tag cloud, for example. I'm going to show you here first how to create a new tag cloud using posts, and then I'm going to show you how to easily change the taxonomy on it. So if you're going to use post, go right like this, and then post tag. That's how you would reference that you wanted to create a post tag cloud right here. And then just to show you a couple other things you can define with this function, you can define what you want your smallest or least common tags to show up in regards to the size. So I'm going to say seven points. You can also say what you want the largest one to be in regards to points. Here I'm going to say 20. And of course you could also define unit and you could also put a limit on the maximum number that would actually show up just that easily. And of course you'd want to close that off and then close off the PHP section if we file save that. And then we jump over into KeyCare, for example. You can now see the tag cloud for all of my tags. And I could easily come in here and do exactly the same thing using my new custom taxonomy. Again, remember, I don't have all the gazillion of these set up, so it would not show up very nice. But all I'd have to do, if I wanted it to be based off of the ingredients, I would just type in ingredients. That's it. That's all I changed. And then we file save that. Jump out here and reload it. And you're now going to see garlic and jalapeno show up real, real tiny because I only have one recipe assigned to that. So there's how to create custom taxonomies using WordPress. Kind of a neat little trick, and it's a great way to better organize your information and it also is a fabulous tool if you plan on creating shopping carts using WordPress. If you have any other questions or comments leave them in the comment section below otherwise till next time.